What's up, Libra? Welcome to your May reading. This is for Libra, Summer, and Rising Venus. We'll be taking a look into the month ahead to see what messages need to come through for you guys. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for Libra, Summer, and Rising Venus. I hope that you're doing well. If you wish to book a private reading with me, the information for that is listed in the description box down below. If you wish to follow me over on my other social media, I do have Instagram and TikTok, both at Jade Stone Tarot. You can find me over there. And let's get right into this reading, see what messages Spirit has for you, get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for Libra in the month of May 2022. Show me clearly. What are the messages for Libra? Messages for Libra, summer Venus in May 2022. What's going on? The dolphin coming out, so we're going to keep it. Very beautiful energy. Messages for Libra, summarizing Venus for the month of May 2022. What's going on for Libra? What do you need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Libra in May 2022? The black egg, that came out for Leo and the spider. Okay. <clears throat> so we have spirit energy, earth and water coming out. Let's talk about this. So the dolphin does talk about blessings coming your way. Um, you're right on track. So for whoever needs that extra little confirmation, am I on the right track? Am I doing the right thing? Yes, 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 you are. And what you do counts, what you do matters, and it makes a difference. The dolphin's a very healing energy, and it's also a very positive energy. So for the month of May, you might be feeling very like uplifted. You might be feeling way more optimistic, really positive about where you're at, your future. You know, things are going good. Things are quite smooth sailing, and you can't complain. And it seems like you're spreading positivity wherever you go, whoever you come into contact with. Um, you know, you're just radiating this pure, genuine love and light you know it's, it's just it's really beautiful it's very pure it's very wholesome and it shows you might be noticing that certain individuals or just in general even strangers are more drawn to you at this time you might be feeling way more social you might be going out way more just like communicating with a lot more people this month it's not a bad thing at all um you might be stepping out of your comfort zone, too, or just meeting new connections. <laughs> I feel like this month is all about you guys really tapping into your authenticity with the black egg, speaking your truth, saying it as it is, and no need to sugarcoat or people please or do anything against your your will or like against what you want. Um, I think you're just putting yourself first and... It's working out in your favor. Communication is definitely highlighted this month for you, especially. Like I was saying with a dolphin, you might be way more busier. Lots of people are more drawn to your energy, especially because it's so healing. Dolphin is a healer, natural healer. So you might even be like a healer yourself. And then the spider, it all talks about connection to all. Like every motherfucker thing <laughs> are connected to um even the the actions that you've taken that have led up to where you are currently and whatever it is that you're doing or investing into leads up to what your future self is doing you know and so the spider does talk about the need to be patient with yourself on your journey to not rush the process i think i was saying that in gemini's reading it's like what's the rush slow down enjoy the process you're going to get to your destination it's just a matter of when you don't need to know when or how it just know that it is it's not oh if this is going to happen it is it's not even a question on if it is and just enjoy the journey enjoy the whole process slow down observe appreciate all the steps that it takes to get to that dream that goal that that fill in the blank whatever it is that you're trying to get to <laughs> um spider also does talk about brushing up on skills learning growing and just constantly making improvements to better yourself there's always room for growth there's always room to expand to learn we never stop changing we never stop growing learning expanding so yeah it just feels like it's an expansive month for you pretty nice i like it so far let's pull some fair messages to go along with this but so far yeah it seems like it's a pretty chill month for you guys 
maybe you're inspiring others to speak their truth as well like as you're showing up as your authentic self um it's inspiring others whatever you do it inspires people around you it's connected it affects those around you it's like a beacon of light you're a beacon of light Messages for Libra, summarizing Venus for the month of May 2022. Wow, we have, wow, the Singer of Transfiguration, number 11, and the Journeyman, number 15. Give me one more for Libra in the month of May. The Piper, wow, oh my god, the Piper, that's so fitting. It's very healing. This talks about music, this talks about creation, um, self-expression, but just in general, um, lots of healing is taking place for you this month, and music is going to be your savior. It's going to be your best friend, whether you're just listening to music or you're your own producer, you create, you play an instrument. Whatever the case is, whether you're the listener or you're the actual musician, music, 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 singing, learning to sing. Some of you are like, oh, I don't sing. I don't sing. I don't sing. I'm not a good singer. Don't care. Sing anyways. I don't give a fuck if you're off tune. Sing your fucking heart out. Sing as loud as you can, you know, um, especially since we have the black egg that represents your throat, your throat. It needs to. There's some major throat activation taking place. Um... And it's like, you got to use your voice. Use your voice. Yell, scream, shout, sing on the top of your lungs. I feel like singing, 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 singing. Someone needs to sing more. Some of you are so afraid. Some of you are so shy. Like, I only sing when I'm alone. Well, I don't care. Sing more. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Sing more, okay? The Piper is all about just like really healing and healing through music, healing through the frequencies. I can't help but, like, I just keep touching my throat. I'm, like, holding the card so you can't see, but, yeah, like, I just keep, like, I feel like the throat is being activated this month for you guys, okay? So there's, like, this beautiful transformation taking place, and you're really needing to speak your, speak your truth, using your voice, be fearless, be brave, it's awesome. That's number 24 for you. So the singer of transfiguration, this is all about transformation. Major transformation, major growth. I mean, what else do I say? What else can I add here? This is like kind of phoenixy energy. Spreading your wings, rising from the ashes, rising from those challenging times. There's triumph here. You guys are really overcoming any hurdles, any stagnancies, any blockages, any restrictions that has been getting in the way of fill in the blank whatever it is that you're trying to get towards it is being crushed you are crushing these blockages and you are rising up you're leveling up there it's it's amazing it really is and you are stepping into this new chapter of your life and holy fuck i'm hearing these loud ass bangs outside from my neighbors like please the fuck is going on I'm just, I'm just saying anyways the journeyman this is like kind of like the fool taking a step taking a risk stepping out into the unknown territory and feeling a little scared a little anxious not knowing what to expect um the journeyman sometimes likes to appear bigger more grown than he actually is kind of like the whole saying fake it till you make it you step into this new unknown territory and instead of acting shy and like small you try to you know you really find that inner confidence and that courage and don't even don't even sweat it like don't even let a bitch see you sweat like don't let them know you're nervous um <laughs> like almost like kind of puffing yourself up to be bigger bolder than you actually are like definitely pay attention to like your stance um holy fuck can you stop please it's so distracting definitely pay attention to like um how you are showing up like you know your appearance how you 
dress, the colors you wear, that kind of stuff can help you feel more confident when you feel not only good on the inside, but on the outside. Even when you feel kind of shitty on the inside, but you look good on the outside, you feel like a bad bitch, (laughs) you know? So it's kind of like that energy that you need to embody as you're stepping into this new chapter, this new phase, or this new new beginning that you're stepping into. Um, Oh my God, it is like right next door. It's so loud. (sighs) Anyways, um, this also does talk about a lot of protection around you there is like a grandmother figure watching over you or someone with more of like a feminine energy so just need to pass on that message and it's just like another reminder like make sure you're taking good care of yourself all right maybe you haven't been eating enough or drinking enough water maybe you've been kind of neglecting your health or self-care this is a strong message for someone like you gotta take that up a notch take a little bit better care of yourself okay um, but yeah, this is about testing, testing, testing your knowledge, the knowledge, the wisdom that you've gained, testing it in a new way that you've never done before. So have fun <laughs> and also know to ha- need- needing to have the balance. Notice how he's balancing the ball over here. It's like you got to try to find the balance, um, right? Keeping the scales balanced, Libra. All right, let's pull some tarot messages to go along with this. Messages for Libra. Oh, there's your energy, right? With justice out here. Keep those scales balanced, okay? Keep them balanced. Messages for Libra, Summer and Icing Venus for the month of May 2022. Any messages for Libra, Summer and Icing Venus for the month of May 2022? What's going on for my Libras? What do they need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Libra, Summer and Icing Venus? Woo! We got the Six of Pentacles reversed, so that could be your energy currently. Feeling a bit impatient, feeling ungrounded, feeling like the energy that you've been investing in situations, there's been, there hasn't been a return. Um, maybe the timing of things has been off, or there's something that could be delayed. All right, messages for Libra, summarizing Venus. Is my deck upside down? Just making sure. No, it is not. Temperance, patience. Need to work on your patience um, and the timing of all things. Sagittarius energy. Some of you may have Saggy placements. Could be dealing with a Saggy. Messages for Libra. Summarizing Venus. We have the Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords. So we got a lot of feminine energy coming out here. Banging is so distracting. We also have the Two of Pentacles and the Star. Something about a wish fulfillment. We have the Five of Swords Reverse and the Knight of Wands. Oh my goodness, this banging. You hear that shit? It is like... Like, who the fuck is doing that? (laughs) Why are you doing this? (laughs) Uh, We have the Magician at the bottom. Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. Okay. So, with all that banging going on... All right, so we have Aquarius energy out here, Sagittarius energy, air, fire. That's, yeah, air and fire, just a little bit of water. Most of this reading is fire, air, oh, and a tiny bit of earth, like literally only a tiny little dash of earth. So most of this reading is air and fire. So this has to do with, um, oh my God. (laughs) <laughs> this has to do with like turning your thoughts turning your thoughts into realities bringing your dreams into the physical right with the star talking about wish fulfillments dreams coming to life um there is healing taking place as well five of swords reverse i do see that there are situations coming up that require you to be honest so there might be honest conversations there also could be healing like forgiveness taking place that's what i want to say there could be forgiveness taking place for some you could be receiving apologies it is that time of year we do have mercury retrograding we're in the pre-shadow uh i think it is full on starting the 10th of may so there will be some of that past energy being brought up um so there are opportunities if you wish if you want 
for healing, forgiveness, honest conversations, clearing the air, speaking your truth, getting some things off your chest. I do see that there are opportunities for that. Um, that can bring you lots of clarity, especially on situations, emotional situations that left you feeling confused, unsure, questioning a lot, questioning your worth, um, something that you've been struggling with on the inside though. Emotionally, Eight of Swords, it's been like a mental block, an emotional block for you. And I see that with the Magician coming out, you guys are manifesting um, a way to heal that, a way for you to release those blockages, those burdens and feel at peace okay <clears throat> maybe that's been kind of getting in the way of these blessings from coming in right there's healing taking place though and right that's what i was saying with the piper piper is all about healing forgiveness releasing emotional releasing as well and we have all this eclipse energy as well taking place so you guys are probably feeling the energy of that mm -hmm. i do see that you are moving away from those struggles though and you're really just focused on the future focus on what you want and making it happen yeah and just focusing on your inner peace with that temperance energy getting back your balance focusing on just like surrendering having patience towards yourself getting your balance back um especially when it comes to your own personal wellness and your confidence your appearance taking better care of yourself some of you're getting into like an exercise routine or just like living a healthier lifestyle and just feeling very confident within yourself and just like it just feels great <laughs> right it feels great you're feeling attractive people are attracted to you and your energy which is what i was saying with the dolphin is like with this dolphin energy as you are focusing on healing yourself you're radiating this beautiful energy you're like a beacon of light and people are drawn to you people are drawn to you and wanting to know what you have to say with that golden not golden black egg right you got some important things to say um sometimes the black egg can talk about being a public speaker or having some sort of an audience and so you know there might be lots of people who want to see what you have to say like your your words matter or something like that um the queen of swords you're definitely you're definitely in more of like a serious energy you're finding the balance though you're finding the balance of having fun and letting loose and relaxing and then also in like this boss mode and like not taking shit from anybody knowing your worth knowing your values um really in like this business mindset of like being focused being observant moving swiftly and yeah like any any changes that come up it doesn't seem to really knock you off your feet you're very much like all right let's go let's get this shit done um yeah like you're just embracing change as well i'm feeling <clears throat> initiating change as well no, like i think you're initiating change you're taking action you're going after the things that you desire and it's working out for working out in your favor we even have the two of pentacles out here talking about like connections friendships that you could be b building i'm not necessarily getting romance from this to be honest yeah I, I feel like for some two of pentacles we have the queen of swords and the queen of wands for some there's like a beautiful friendship being born or growing maybe this is like a friendship this could even be relating to like a sibling but i see that there's like a really nice like dual ship partnership at play here could be same sex doesn't matter but yeah i just feel like there's like um a lot of support or between two people but i'm not i'm not really getting romance from this this could even be business related but i feel like there's this power team power team there's this dual ship between you and like another person possibly and it just like you guys are on that same wavelength <laughs> you know i'm like getting almost best friend energy from this so for some it's like you've been calling in your best friend or you're you're looking for your soul tribe or trying to find some really genuine connections genuine people who have similar mindsets and similar goals outlooks in life and i feel like you're coming together with those types of people it's awesome it's amazing it's so great this is like a wish come true so some of you are like i wish i had that true friend well, that true friend wants you too <laughs> your true friend is like coming in and they're like oh my god it's just like match made in heaven but yeah i feel like friendship energy from that knight of wands knight of swords and the six of swords i mean does this not scream movement you're moving taking action some of you could actually be moving um picking up your shit not picking up your shit packing up your stuff 
and physically moving or traveling some of you are signing new oh be careful yeah signing contracts leases shit like that this month just make sure that you really read the fine prints make sure all communications are clear since we are in mercury retrograde that can sometimes cause a little bit of a i won't cuff kerfuffle kerfuff i don't ever i never say that word <laughs> but for some reason i want to say that word but yeah it could there could be some miscommunications and stuff like that so if you are signing any documents paperwork make sure communications are clear ask as many questions as you need read the fine print triple times um if you are traveling you know flights trains driving hotels whatever the fuck airbnb i don't care um there could be some delays or there might be some technical issues right or even i want to say throw out their possible car problems um check your tires <laughs> make sure you got the gas all that jazz yeah i just have to throw that out there or like you know when like a battery is dead and you have to like jump the car like i just got the imagery of like those um those clippers the the, the red and black clips that you that you put on i don't know shit about cards you guys <laughs> but i think i don't know i just got the imagery of that so just make sure like you're prepared if you are going on like a road trip make sure you're prepared for those scenarios especially now with mercury retrograding which mercury is communication travel shit like that so just keep that in mind just little scenarios i'm throwing out passing on these messages that you may need to hear but where are you moving towards where are you headed where are you going because it's not telling me where it just looks like actions being taken you're moving to p more peaceful calmer times more fulfilling times wish fulfillment um there's more bangs going on like holy fuck what is going on i don't know i don't know let's see where you're where are you headed where are you going what you doing <laughs> what um what are you stepping into time of the knight of wands knight of swords six of swords what is libra moving towards kind of tap, tapping into that journeyman energy of like it's like a new journey <laughs> no shit um <clears throat> anyways where is Mo libra going knight of wands knight of swords six of swords what is libra moving towards in the month of may queen of cups learning to open up your heart look at queen 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 you're in this queen energy we also have the hierophant something about possible commitments relationships we have the three of wands and the five of pentacles reversed back in business <laughs> back in business justice at the bottom eight of pentacles as well ten of wands strength okay um what are you moving towards well you're taking baby steps you're not rushing into anything too crazy you're really just like getting more clear with what you want and taking the action taking initiation right it starts with an idea and then you have to act on it manifesting isn't just all thoughts you got to start taking the action towards it so i do see that here with the three of wands is like you're coming with a plan you're getting more serious with these goals with what it is that you want you're committing to them with the hierophant for some you actually have a commitment coming in there's a relationship that's developing or growing and you're learning to open up your heart here with the queen of cups learning to give and receive unconditional love mm -hmm. real genuine healthy kind of love love in all forms right it doesn't even have to be about romance but just love in general learning to really just love people unconditionally without having super high expectations or putting people on pedestal like just loving you know <laughs> it just feels very healing anyways um for some like i said you could be heading into some sort of commitment or relationship five of pentacles reverse coming out of a period of isolation i would say after maybe isolating yourselves for some time or keeping to yourself or just after going through some sort of loss and like walking away from shit i see like you could be coming back out of like this period of isolation reflection being alone i see that you're coming out of that i see that you're coming out also of a time of struggling financially um you're making changes and you're actively 
integrating what you've learned. You're showing up, you're putting in the effort, and it's paying off. So basically, I see like you're taking steps in this new direction. You're taking it more serious. You have more of a plan. You're getting clear with what you want. You're making it happen and you're committed to it. And as you're showing up and you're putting in that consistent effort, you're really starting to see it pay off. And it's fucking awesome. Oh, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> All right. So that's great. That's awesome, you guys. Um, I mean, I think we'll leave your reading there because we're running out of time. And I don't really feel like we need to look into anything else. Um, feeling much more peace, calm, chill. Go get some sun. Go out in nature. Get some fresh air. Go for some walks. Um, the star, like I said, all about you staying true to yourself, your authenticity. It's also about healing, patience, balance. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Um... Magician to the Eight of Swords. Possibly, like I said, there could be some... Did I say this? Maybe I didn't. Um, There could be moments where you have fears like, what if this isn't coming? Or what if I'm not good enough? Or like, just kind of feeling blocked, self-sabotage-y, getting in your own way. That's something that you're working through as well. Your worst fears or your impulsive thoughts... They're not going to manifest. That's another message I'm getting from this. Is like some of you are like, oh my God, I don't want my, I don't want this to manifest, but I keep having these fears. Chill. It's, it's okay. It won't manifest. Like I said, manifestations is mo- a lot more than just like what you think you attract, right? Your thoughts become your actions. Your actions become like natural habit and then habits become your life. You get whatever the fuck that saying is. You get me? So don't worry about that you know your worst fears and those impulsive thoughts or you know it's not gonna manifest unless you act on it so yeah i think we're gonna leave your reading there libra i hope that you found this insightful and that you enjoyed if you did let me know in the comments below if you want to follow me over on my other social media that's at jade stone tarot instagram tiktok if you wish to book a private reading with me information for that is listed in the description down below and i'm gonna let you guys go thank you for watching and i will talk to you in the next one bye